Body Club. Welcome to a new episode of Cooking for Fun. Today's celebrity is Kun Pon Tanta Setien. An actor and an MC and also an owner of a restaurant. And his restaurant, Spring and Summer, located in Sukhumvit, is very well known for chocolate and desserts. And I know he's going around at the moment and getting all the ingredients together to cook with me and I'm really happy to have him on board. While he's doing that, I use the opportunity to introduce you to something new. You can actually go down to Central Food Hall and pick up one of these cards. You can be part of the show and if you prefer, you can sit down and our chefs are cooking for you and your friends up to four to sit down and we cook for you specially. Or if you like, be part of the show and cook with me together. Get down to Central Food Hall, pick up one of the cards and be part of the team. So, I will get out of the kitchen, we get Kun Pon in and we start cooking. See you after the break. It is great to have him on my show yep. and I have to say I'm really delighted today to have a celebrity who actually can cook. Mm, let's see. <laughs> I, I tell you yep. why I'm saying that. Yep. He took his little toolbox with him with all the gadgets and I have to say I don't even have that so I'm really proud to see that. <laughs> let's see what we're going to use in, in that box. I'm okay. sure we find something. Yep. So Kunpon, what are we cooking? Cup. Okay, today we're gonna start with the chocolate pasta. Since everyone loves pasta and kids love chocolate. So why don't we do chocolate pasta? It, it sounds great, but not only kids, believe me, I love chocolate too. Yep. Sometimes too much. Uh-huh, I can see. Okay. So please do use me at any okay. convenience. Okay, today I need a big help, you have to help me. So I'm why don't delighted. we start with the ingredient first. Yes, the please. first part we're gonna do is uh, the pasta. Mm -hmm. We use uh, all purpose flour and uh, okay. the, yeah, chocolate powder, cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. And uh, also two eggs and this is a caster sugar. Okay, and so, an we have to knead the dough. dough. Yes, okay, so first of all, we just mix everything, all the dry ingredient part in the bowl first, right? Are you, is that one of the dishes you actually make in your own restaurant? Uh, no. This is something special. I'm pretty sure after the episode, <laughs> they will ask yep. you to do it. Yep, let's see. <laughs> actually, it's very easy to make. So basically, all you have to make sure you weigh your ingredients because mm -hmm. every time when you are baking or doing mm -hmm. something like this, the ingredients are Cow really powder. essential to be correct. Yes, can I use my hand? You certainly okay. may use your hand. Okay, and then can you... Help me put to and it. Of course. Okay. Can I use a corner? Yep. Yeah, all of them. Oops. Sorry, you see. 
Yeah. Actually, you can like a knee or the dough on the tabletop as well, but I don't want to mess your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's do it. That's normally my job. Okay. And Normally, I, when we put the dry ingredient, we kind of gonna make like a, a hole and put the like a, all the liquid thing inside. Inside. Yeah. This is like a basic of pasta dough, right? I mean, pasta dough is very, very simple. Yep. You would do the same without mm -hmm. the chocolate just to make pasta. Mm -hmm. And I saw you actually brought a pasta machine today. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I love these. I have one at home. Ooh, yeah. Everyone should and have one at home, nah? I, and you can buy them in any department store or sometimes even find it on the market. Mm -hmm. They're not crazy expensive. They're no, I when I bought it, I think it's around 2000 something. Yeah, but you can do like an egg noodle or pasta or something like that. Every kind of noodle, you can have a homemade pa pasta. Put some of it on, on the flat surface to protect it, not to stick on it. Yeah, to dust it. Yeah. Okay, it start to come together come together yeah your hands at home will look a little bit chocolatey but it actually comes together very nicely in a minute yeah. and then i think you have to rest it afterwards correct yes like uh, maybe half an hour or one hour so that the dough has time to relax yes. because if you don't do that and you try to make your pasta it's too fresh too too moist mm -hmm. so it needs to relax a little bit to get this silky smooth consistency yeah, working on the flat surface is like uh, more easy as you can see. Yep. You can use your your palm, palm. Yeah, to like uh, knead it. I, I, I think it looks great. Yeah. Especially when I don't have to do something. <laughs> That's <laughs> new. So, we just put uh, need a bowl to rest the dough. Which we have here. Okay, and maybe we can put some a uh, towel on top to... We certainly yeah. will put a towel on top. Okay. You want to wash your hands? Yep. We do that. And then we have another dough that is already wet. We just did that around 20 minutes ago. Around 20 minutes. And you minutes. see, it has a completely yep. different this is texture. Already, yeah, already good to use. Okay, let's cut the dough in. Let's see. Do you have then a nice roll. Again, you use a little bit of flour yeah. to roll it out. Do you need a... A rolling pin? Oh, no need, no need. Because I just want to cut it like a, to a small dough. That's all. Okay. And let's try. Yeah, and you see that? For the viewers at home, this is inside nice, silky, mm -hmm. smooth dough. Look okay. at that. We fold it back in one more time. No problem. Yeah. And you have to do that a few times. Three, yeah, four times. Yeah, a few times. And actually, right now we do it. At number one, it's me. Like a, the, the so dough. Biggest. The sheet going to come out quite thick. Yeah. Basically, consistently, you're taking the size smaller, you're folding it over. Mm -hmm. Again, gives this elasticity to the dough and makes it very, very smooth. And later on, you end up with a really, really, really thin dough. I access it to four. Let's no see. problem. So right now, it's become like a thinner. You see that? Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so right now, we're going to cut it. So, should we do something like fettuccine or the fire one? I actually like the bigger one because okay. they look nicer. Okay. 